Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Jetpack Aviation completes final speeder VTOL trials. Also Flight Design F2 achieves major milestone. Stool drag making aviation history. Happy Friday, everybody. You survived the work week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We got a packed episode ahead of the weekend, so let's go ahead and start with Jetpack Aviation completes initial speeder VTOL trials. Jetpack Aviation has completed flight testing with the first prototype P1 of its speeder jet-powered VTOL mobility platform. Trials concluded successfully in May. Flight testing began in December 2020 with two axis tethers securing the platform, progressing through a single axis tether and culminating in the aircraft flying with just a safety tether connection. The program achieved a series of test points aimed at proving the engine gimbal and articulated exhaust nozzle systems as well as the flight controller. The engine gimbal and articulated exhaust nozzle systems combined with the mechanical elements of the speeder control system operate in conjunction with the flight controller, comprising a computer and flight sensors to enable the aircraft's unique maneuverability. Within the confines of the 80-foot tether system, P1 demonstrated the speeder's ability to take off, climb, hover, and perform slow transitions into forward flight. With its unique combination of heavy payload, speed, VTOL operation, simplicity, and optional crew flight, the speeder offers unprecedented special missions capability with longer-term application to the urban air mobility market. Demand is expected to be high, and Jetpack Aviation has already begun readying letters of intent for customers and taking pre-orders for the aircraft. After the break, we got one more reason for you to go to Oshkosh, and it involves cash prizes. That and more after these messages. AirVenture may be your destination, but shouldn't you also have a great experience during your flight to and from? Battle Creek Executive Airport is the home of Waco Aircraft, the world's leader in new production sport biplanes. Enjoy a beautiful new FBO, extreme fuel discounts, a glimpse into Waco's manufacturing facility, and the gourmet Waco kitchen, an upscale dining experience serving farm-to-table American-European fusion cuisine. Experience AirVenture. Experience Waco. We'll see you on the ramp at KBTL. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. If you like free money, then you'll want to go to Oshkosh. To help owners of general aviation aircraft modernize their cockpits, the Aircraft's Electronics Association will randomly award five aircraft owners with $1,000 towards an avionics upgrade during the Experimental Aircraft Association's Air Venture Oshkosh from July 26 through August 1st in Wisconsin. Aircraft owners may enter to win one of the five $1,000 awards in Hangar B at Whitman Regional Airport booth number 2035 and 2036, beginning on July 26. The AEA will announce one winner each day. Boeing reveals ups and downs of 2Q 2021. Boeing announced major program deliveries across its commercial and defense operations for the second quarter of 2021. The company says, We continue to work to deliver on our commitment to our commercial, defense, 
space, and services customers, while positioning our business for a stable and strong recovery for the pandemic. In the second quarter, we made progress in safely returning the 737 MAX to service in more international markets and increasing the pace of 737 deliveries. Sporty's pilot training platform updated. The latest update of Sporty's pilot training platform brings their test prep features to the Learn to Fly instrument rating and commercial pilot courses for Android phones and tablets. The update also improves the overall video training performance on Android devices. In addition to being able to study specific categories of questions from Sporty's proprietary database of over 2,000 questions, the new test prep interface allows Android users to create a custom study session or take a practice FAA test. RCAF Foundation announces additional scholarships. The Royal Canadian Air Force Foundation has announced an additional scholarship for post-secondary students in flight schools or pursuing a career in aviation. First announced on June 18th, the scholarships are developed for Canada's next generation of leaders and explorers in science and space. The now $25 $1,000 scholarships are open to any Canadian youth 25 years or younger in post-secondary education. They are designed to encourage students in STEM. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Flight Design F2 achieves major milestone. The first production flight design F2 LSA to reach the U.S. has been inspected by an FAA representative and issued a certificate of airworthiness as a special light sport aircraft. The aircraft is owned by a gentleman from the Milwaukee area and will be delivered this month at AirVenture Oshkosh 2021. The F-2 LSA is the newest addition to the existing line of flight design aircraft, complementing the CTLS and CT Supersport models are also sold in the United States. This is an important day for our company, our customers, and our dealers, said Tom Pigney, president of Flight Design USA. The F-Series is a big step up for flight design, and this just the first of many F-2 Series airplanes that will come to the United States. The Flight Design F-Series of aircraft include the F-2 LSA, the F-2 UL, which is a German ultralight, the F-2 CS-23 is a certified version, which is currently being reviewed by EASA in Europe and soon, the F-4, which is the four-place version of F-Series. The first article inspection by the FAA is a review of the documentation provided by a manufacturer to show compliance to the applicable FARs and the ASTM standards used for a particular light sport model. After these messages, stole drag making aviation history. I'll tell you how after the break. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Still drag making aviation history with FAA national accreditation. Something exciting and highly educational for all of us is starting to gain some serious traction, and we couldn't be more thrilled. In 2019, Stoll Drag got its start after becoming the first new race class at the Reno Air Races in almost 20 years. 
This May, Stoll Drag Events LLC made aviation history after receiving a national accreditation from the Federal Aviation Administration, allowing them to take their events on the road. But what is it? Stoll stands for Short Takeoff Landing, and a Stoll Drag Race is when two aircraft fly side by side as fast as they can down a 2,000 foot straightaway, land, turn around, and race back to land at the finish line. Stoll Drag Events carries its own waiver and offers training to any and all new pilots looking to better themselves in power and energy management and directional control. After successfully completing the training course, pilots can become an official Stoll Drag Race pilot with race qualifications from the FAA. Stoll Drag Race is reportedly the only class of the Reno Air Races to carry its own national accreditation. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. And feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next week.